Growing chilies at home has many benefits, besides being able to decorate the yard with plants that are quite lush or planted in poly bags. You can plant it directly for home kitchen spices which can be processed into cooking. When planting chilies at home, you also have to be wary of pests and diseases that attack chili plants, as I am currently experiencing. There are some plants that have not recovered from pests and diseases, and this plant different from this plant. Visible on the leaves that have not yet recovered from pests and diseases. Handling must be done immediately so that the chili plants are not damaged and spread to other plants. There are several things I want to convey in this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on this video. I'll continue after this intro. Peace be upon you, and all is mercy and blessings. Back again at Hitsaputra which reviews information about plants and animal husbandry. This plant is 28 days old after planting, fertilized twice, and prevention of pests and diseases also twice. But there are still pests on my chili plants, and there are also those who have not recovered from pests and diseases. Even though last week I sprayed this plant with insecticide, fungicides, same plant adhesive. Today, I want to explain some of the pests and diseases that attack my cayenne pepper plants and how to deal with them. Pests and diseases in chili plants that you need to watch out for. First, 1. Leaf Caterpillar or Ypsilon agrotus. Leaf caterpillars attack newly planted chili plants, namely by cutting the stem or top of the chili plant until it collapses. Prevention can be done by spraying toward WP insecticide with concentration of 0.25 to 0.5 grams per liter of water, alternately with direct 25 EC insecticide with a concentration of 0.4 cc per liter of water. You can also use Radoc 28 EC insecticide with a concentration of 0.2505 cc per liter of water the day before transplanting into this poly bag. Number 2. Armyworm. Armyworm pests on chili plants usually attack the leaves, fruit, and small plants. For control measures, it is recommended to spray insecticide in the afternoon. Number 3. Fruit FLIs The initial symptoms of chili plants being attacked by fruit fly pests are small holes in the fruit, yellowing of the fruit skin. The chili seeds are blackish-brown, and eventually the fruit falls off. Prevention and control can be done by making sex feromo fruit fly traps or spraying Winter 100 EC insecticide with a concentration of 0.5 to 1 cc per liter of water. Alternate with the insecticide Promectin 18 EC with a concentration of 0.2505 cc per liter of water or with the insecticide Cyrotex 75 SP with a concentration of 0.3 to 0.6 grams per liter of water. Number 4. Mites. Mites attack chili plants until the leaves turn reddish, rolls up, thickens, and finally falls off. For control and prevention, spray with a kerosite Samite 1 to 5 EC with a concentration of 0.25 to 0.5 milliliter per liter of water. Alternate with the insecticide Promectin 18 EC at a concentration of 0.25 to 0.5 cc per liter of water. Number 5. Nematodes. Nematodes are plant pest organisms that attack the root areas of chili plants. If the plant is attacked, then food transportation is hampered and the growth of the chili plant is disrupted. Damage caused by nematodes can make it easier for bacteria to enter and cause bacterial wilt. Effective prevention is to plant chili varieties that are resistant to nematodes and rotating crops on land. Where it is planted is an endemic area. Nematicides can be given simultaneously with fertilization. That's a discussion about chili plant pests that you should be wary of before attacking your favorite plants. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and comment. Greetings from my channel Hatsaputra, thank you.